This is the story of Creative Commons. There is a natural tension between the open sharing capabilities made possible by digital technology and the sharing restrictions that are inherent in copyright laws around the world. Creative Commons was created to help address this tension between copyright regulation and the creator's ability to share digital works more openly. In 1998, an important piece of copyright legislation was enacted in the United States, the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act, or CTEA. This legislation extended the copyright term for every work in the United States, including those that had already been published, for an additional 20 years, making the total copyright term equal to the life of the creator plus 70 years. Note, it was no surprise that this legislation happened just before the original Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie, was due to enter the public domain, and as a result, the CTEA is often referred to as the Mickey Mouse Protection Act. Thanks, Walt Disney. Stanford law professor Lawrence Lessig believed that this new legislation was unconstitutional. Having set limitations to copyright terms is important. Once those terms expire, the work enters the public domain and is now available for anyone to use, for any purpose, without permission. This process is critical to the creation of new knowledge and art so that it can build on work that came before. But if copyright terms keep being extended, then those works never enter the public domain, certainly not in any sort of timely fashion, and therefore they can't be used as a basis to create new works. Lessig, along with a web publisher named Eric Eldred, challenged the constitutionality of the CTEA in court. Their case, Eldred v. Ashcroft, went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, but they ultimately lost. Justice Breyer, however, did write a dissenting opinion agreeing with Eldred and Lessig that the CTEA essentially set a precedent for granting perpetual copyright, and that that undermined public interests. Lessig and others went on to found a nonprofit organization called Creative Commons, which began publishing the Creative Commons licenses in 2002. These are a set of free, public licenses that allow creators to keep their copyrights while at the same time sharing their works on more open and flexible terms. These licenses are intended to be used by creators all over the world. The idea is that this is an easy way for creators to share their works in ways that are consistent with copyright laws. Today, Creative Commons licenses are used by more than 1.4 billion works online across 9 million different websites. The Creative Commons Global Affiliate Network includes over 500 volunteers and community members who serve as Creative Commons representatives in over 85 countries. Creative Commons licenses help creators make a global commons of diverse types of content that is freely available for anyone to use. Additionally, they signal a set of values and a different way of thinking about copyright, licensing, and creative ownership. Creative Commons licenses and the Creative Commons logo have become symbols for sharing, openness, and collaboration. They are one small part of a larger open movement, including open source software, open innovation in the corporate world, open data, crowdsourcing, open access publishing, open science, and open educational resources.